Yeah, I mean, the triggers are the reasons. Uh, and I think, you know, and if anybody's read trigger, there's there's tons of, you know, trainers out there that talk about trigger-based selling. Um, and really all it is is looking for things that you can make a connection to about your solution, not just in general, but hey, you know, if somebody launches a new product or opens up a new office or goes through a merger and acquisition or even says something, right? There's a tweet or a post or a blog where somebody references, hey, you know, here's our goals for next year or here's some of the challenges that we're faced with or hey, one of my favorite things is X, you know, that to me is a trigger that I can then use to reach out to that person. And, and it's all about relevance, right? And I think that's where the automation falls apart because you can't automate relevance. You, you, you take a guess at relevance when you automate because you're saying, okay, maybe you fit this persona, you fit this role. So I think based on that, you know, this might hit that button. But really, it does, you know, the, the fake personalization stuff is really pissing me off. And we can talk about that later. But the the actual personalization of reaching out and saying, hey, you know, I, I saw this happen about you. And, and I wanted to reach out to you because some aspect of my solution or whatever it is adds value to that. And we've done it for other people. And, and I'd just like to have a conversation to see if yep. we can help move the dial here, right? And so that's why I think searching for those triggers is so important because it just, it gives you that reason. It gives you that relevance.